Hey, Greg Nelson here. Going over another video on mental and physical toughness and resilience, which I consider one of the highest character traits on the pole, right? It is also the foundation of everything else, and I'll tell you why. Man, many people are just... They get floored over those people that have the ability to ability to endure things, to push through things, to come back from setbacks, to fight and not give up, all right, who are uh, strong enough to fight back from sickness or tragedy. Hey, we all have. Don't discount yourself. Man, I tell you this, for me it's normal. It always has been. Man, since I can remember, I've tried to push myself. You know, I've created a life of training. I've always was kind of a wild child. Constantly getting in trouble, constantly falling, constantly failing. Right? It was just the norm. And that's how I, I thought life was about. You just pushed your limits and when you wiped out you got back up and you just kept going and it might have been partly due to the fact that I was really encouraged to push myself to be the best I can it was also probably due to the fact that I didn't listen when people told me don't go so hard you shouldn't try that don't fail you might you might fall down if you do that hey that's pretty risky I was like, yeah, good, let's do it. And so therefore, my mentality was always to kind of push through whatever got in front of me as a challenge and just whatever happened, suck it up and deal with it, endure and push on. And that is resilience. That is kind of the, the, the nuts and bolts of being mentally and physically tough that you're not going to cower down towards things that happen in your life all right it's just the way it is so like i said i think that resilience and being mentally and physically tough is a major foundational building block for your success why why do i think that i mean i know mental toughness and resilience is a skill that you can learn it's a learned skill, but it's also one that we are born with. Yeah, that's the way it is. Think about it. Everything on this freaking planet, from little microscopic organisms to blades of grass to plants to little bugs and bees and whatever else, animals, and all the way up to the apex predator on this planet, us. Our whole existence has been able to thrive because we've been able to endure and be resilient from whatever tried to take us out, which has been a lot, right? We all have an awesome power to climb out of the rubble, to get back up, and to keep pushing forward. Look at your own life. You don't have to look too far. Think of all of the things that you have endured over life. Think of all of the things that you had to push through, push over, move around, deal with, to be where you are now. That same power that you did have and still have growing up and learning all the things and pushing through everything that you have is still with you. And you can use it to achieve damn near anything that is within your reasonable reach. And even those things that don't seem so reasonable. Remember, your reach is longer and stronger than you think. Right? So, you got to go after it. Now, I'll tell you this. That awesome power is resilience. It's the ability to bounce back. It's the ability to fall down. And get back up. Mental toughness is often underrated. 
Resilience is often underrated. And you know what? It's getting scarcer and scarcer in this age of entitlement and mediocrity. Every day we face challenges and untold risks and opportunities that come from them. Think about this. Think about in times of financial plunges. That's when some of the most wealthy people make their money is when the economy is at its worst because they take some risks. They buy some some things that are now at a low and they just anticipate that they're going to go up. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But when they do, bam. Now think about your own life. How many great lessons have you learned when things are going awesome and great? You don't. You want to know why? Because you just kind of figured and just go keep doing what you're doing. And why change things? Everything's going great. But when things fall apart, when you fall apart, when you fall down, when you fail, when you realize, man, things aren't going so great, that is when you start to learn. That's when you figure stuff out. That's when you ultimately go from struggle to success. And that is due to the fact that you have resilience that is in you, right? You are resilient. You are mentally and physically tough. You just got to keep drawing drawing it up. You got to keep going after it. You got to keep fighting for it. Now, I've always had that mentality to never give in, never give up, never quit, all right? And almost everything I've done, and that has really pushed me on. And I don't take your know, life and accept things that happen to me passively. I'm active with it, all right? If I think, think something is trying to pull me down, I'm going to fight it. I go after it. If I think things are going to help me, I'm going to help that area. I'm going to fight for that. So I fight against things that are going to pull me down, and I fight for things that are going to build me up, right? And those things that eventually sometimes win out, and it trips you up, throws you down. Well, guess what? This is when resilience and mental and physical toughness really pay off. This is where being a martial artist pays off. This is when being a person that trains hard and pushes hard and continues to learn and sacrifices and does whatever it takes to be the best they can be, this is when that pays off. Now, like I said, I think that resilience and physical and mental toughness is foundational totally foundational it's one of the most important character traits that we can have think about it in your own life what personal trait would you choose if you could have any any of them well for the most of human history we've uh, lived a life of complete struggle we had to defend ourselves. We had to fight and forge and farm for our food. We had to try to keep warm. We had to try to, you know, find shelter. We had to deal with all the elements. Well, now we live in a different world, right? We have everything almost taken care, care for us. We live in houses that have heaters air conditioners, we have cars that drive us to and from, we got food that is packaged and made for us, we have computers that we walk around in our hands, information at a glance, I mean everything is just given to us, but regardless, resilience and physical and mental toughness is still crucial because Think about this, because we have everything in our hands, because things are so simple now, because we don't have to do the things that we had to do to survive, 
as we did back in the past, a lot of people pick knowledge or intelligence as as the most important characteristic. It is important, that's for dang sure. But no matter what talent or trait or treasure that you have, you know, if you want them to be there, no matter what, what are you going to have to do? You're going to have to be resilient. You're going to have to endure issues and problems and challenges and setbacks. You're going to have to be physically and mentally tough. All right? Because we all have tons of things that are warring against us right now. Things that are happening around us. Our own personal demons. Illness. Disease. Right? Injuries. All these things that are constantly battling against us, a lot of people fold and they give up and they quit a lot. The majority. And they just get by. They just do what they got to do to get by. You ask them, hey, how you doing? I'm doing okay. I'm fine. Uh-uh. You can ask anybody that's around me and, and they ask me, hey, what's going on? How you doing? I'm going, I'm freaking awesome. And I don't care how I feel. I'm freaking awesome because I've felt pretty bad before. So right now, I think, man, I got it pretty good. No matter what. Because A, I had a ton of resilience. I bounced back from whatever came after me. And I've had a lot of things. Right? But... That one personal quality of resilience, being mentally and physically tough, to deal with the unpredictable realities of the world and life that's going to come your way, man, that is something that I am so glad that I have basically fought for and put at the top of my list of things I wanted to have as a trait. Right? Now, I can tell that you know, no matter how much talent or how smart you are or how beautiful you are or how much money you have or how nice your job is or how great everything's going for you, when shit hits the fan, when the light, when your carpet gets pulled out from underneath you, you get super sick or there's a personal tragedy in your life, you get a divorce, someone in your life passes away all right bad things can happen now some people let that stuff just take them away and you got to deal with them and it's okay to deal with them and to be extremely emotional and do what you have to do but you got to fight back you got to be there and rise above it once you've dealt with it Right? And that's so important. Life is going to come at you with everything it has. And it's going to try to take you out. And you know what? It doesn't have to work that hard on a lot of people. On most of people. Because they're getting softer and softer and softer. And so therefore, when they have a little bit of problems... They're looking for someone else to help them. They're looking for a handout. They're looking for that entitlement and that privilege that they think they should have because everybody's told them that they can have anything they want and they don't have to go after it and fight for it. And then when it doesn't happen, then they start complaining and, and start crying. and Man, they fall apart. They go nuts. Well, guess what? That's not us. We are fighters. We're martial artists. We push our bodies. We push our minds. We push our hearts. All right? And we become stronger, more solid individuals because of the way that we live our lives. Now, you know, we're all going to have stuff that come our way. There's no doubt about it. We're all going to wipe out. We're all going to get in, uh, you know, major issues sometimes we're all gonna crash and burn we're all gonna have tragedies i mean simple things like getting in a car crash where you totally destroy your car and maybe end up getting super injured and have to come back some people never come back some people never recover 
All right? That's not, you know, something that we even consider because we have pushed ourselves to a, to a point where, you know, yeah, it happens. And you have to think of it like that. Huh, it happened. I can tell you this. When I was diagnosed with cancer, I finally, I mean, I was not happy, but I was like, okay, we got somebody to fight now. What are we going to do about this? All right? And it was not, and I didn't want to hear the odds. Right? I didn't want to hear what percentage of survival it was because that brings in people that quit. That brings in people that it was too late for. That brings in people that were too old to fight. That brings in people that were too young to fight. That brings in people that had other ailments as well. And that also brings in the people who just gave up. Uh uh. Don't give me stats. Just tell me what we got to do, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to fight. I'm going to push on. I'm going to endure. I'm going to bounce back from whatever attacks me. And if not, I will fight until I die. That is what it was. Now, think about this. No matter how much life planning I had, how much I prepared for what was going to happen, how much I was lifting, and pushing and, and how much reading I was doing, how much more information I was absorbing. When I got cancer and was sitting in my bed, emaciated and just in so much pain, do you think I once thought about, oh, how's my bank account doing? I wonder what book I can read today to get smarter. Oh, I'm thinking about lifting some weights to get a little stronger today. Huh, wonder what's going on in the news. Nothing. All right? All that stuff is for naught. All I had was the fight. The ability to endure. The ability to push through and make it through this minute, then the next minute, then the next minute, and then the next day came and do it all over again. It was all about the fight. All right? And... That mentality was developed through years of hard training, all right? So, you know, that's a huge part of our, our life and our ability to succeed is our ability to be resilient, to be mentally and physically tougher because we're all going to run into things. We're all going to fall. We're all going to fail and we're all going to, at some point in time, have to have to call upon so much of our energy and and strength that we we're going to want to quit. You want to give up. But guess what? That's not part of what we are. We're not going to be that way. And that was again, when I look back at my life in gymnastics, in wrestling, in martial arts, man, it was constant falling down and wiping out and crashing and getting thrown and ending up on the bottom and having to fight your way back up and getting back on that bar and fighting again and then getting taken down by somebody else. I mean, it was a constant, it, it all blends together of just falling and failing and getting back up. Hey, you fall down seven times, you get up seven times, right? You get up smarter and you get up tougher. For the next time when you fall, you're able to get up faster. That's what it's about. All right, and that was what I think really developed my my ability to endure and the ability to be resilient and the ability to just fight back when everything seemed like it wasn't gonna wasn't gonna work out because there was a never quit, never give up, never give in always fight back mentality that was developed through all those years of training and doing martial arts and gymnastics and wrestling and all the other sports I did and anything that I wanted to become or do, I figured out a way to do it because that's what you do. So with that, at the end here, I'm just going to say, 
How do we become more resilient? What are the things that we got to do or can do that will make us mentally, physically tougher and to be more resilient? Well, I wrote a few things down here. First and foremost, you got to be healthy. Right? You have to be healthy. That has to be paramount in your life because if you're not healthy, like I said before, when you're super sick, what do you think about? Just not being sick. Right? You're not thinking about, oh, I got to get this work done. I got to do this. Man, you're so sick. You can't even function. Right? That's part of it. Or what if you're so tired and fatigued because you're not sleeping, you're not eating right, you're not taking care of yourself. So now you're not able to focus, you're not able to be mindful, engaged in what you're doing, you're losing your excitement, you have no energy, right? There's, you have no enthusiasm for what's about to happen, you're just going through the motions. So I'm telling you right now, you have got to put health as a primary part of your existence. Get your sleep, drink enough clean water, eat a healthy diet that you know is good for you, that gives you energy and allows you to stay focused and go, 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 right? You have to train stamina, strength, your suppleness and mobility, and your sensitivity, right? You have to train those areas. Be diligent. Be consistent with it. All right? And then you have to push your limits every once in a while. You got to go live. You got to push yourself on the pads. You got to make yourself suck some air and endure some discomfort. That's how you're going to be tougher. All right? So that's the health part. Now, number two, set goals. Plan and prepare how you're going to Reach those goals and then get to work. I mean, hey, it's not all going to be fun and games, people. But you know what? If you really want something, you're going to do whatever it takes to get to it, all right? If you really want it. If you don't really want it, then, hey, you'll go through the motions, but you'll, be, you'll fake it, all right? You got to get, you have to know what you want. You have to know what you want. And then you got to know how you're going to get it, and then you just got to go after it. Now, next, with that in mind, number three, you got to be patient. Nothing happens just overnight. Think about how long it took you to develop the martial arts skill that you have now. All the things that you've developed. It has taken years and years and years and years of training and learning and growing and spending time and money and effort traveling all over the place and now you're at a place where you got a pretty good base of knowledge and you got skill and you have the ability to pass it on and teach it patience you had to have patience and then you just push on right you can't push the river people you only can take in as much as you're going to take in you're only going to get done as much as you can get done you don't want to Push yourself so much that you lose sight of number one, your health. Because it doesn't matter. I've, I've known a lot of successful people that are super successful. That are millionaires. Multi, multi-millionaires. And they're miserable. In fact, I've had a really good friend who was a multi-millionaire. He killed himself. Alright, so, hey. Be patient, man. Just work for it. Now, number four, be a role model. Who do you have to be your best for? When you're a role model, you can't hide. You got to be an example. So when things get tough, you got to be the example of how you're going to push through. What are you going to do to, to battle through? And then how are you going to help people get through their battles? That's what a role model does. So you put yourself out there. If you have a challenge that you're going to have, tell some people. Now you're going to be more accountable for going after it. And that is huge. Because if you don't tell anybody what you're going to do, you can always just quit and give up. But if people know, and they know it's important to you, they're going to be looking for what's going on in your life and see if you're going for it. And so therefore, if you're a role model, and if you're an example, you better be busy. You better get after it. All right? So that's going to force you to be more resilient. 
to be able to deal with the ebbs and the flows and the ups and the downs, the goods and the bads, all right? Because you have to, you're a role model. You gotta be tougher and show people the way, okay? So be a role model, be an example. Okay, number five, continue to learn. Always be a student, all right? Guru Dan has always said that ultimately the best martial artists are those that are always students. They can fight and they can teach. Not everybody's all three. Some people just like to learn and that's great. All right? Some people are really good at just intuitively doing things and fighting, but they can't teach. Just do this, and they beat the crap out of something. Uh, can't do that, all right? So, the other, the other end of it is, you know, there's people that just like to train. They don't even care what they learn. They just love training. They just go nuts. They want to sweat, and they want to suck air. They don't even know what they're learning, as long as they're training hard, all right? So, Guru Dan said, you know, you're always a student of the game. You're always training to keep fit, to keep your skills at a higher level, and to maintain those skills that you have, and you want to be able to pull them off in a functional manner. There it is. So always be a student, right? Always be a student of the game. Now, I went to school, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade, twelfth grade, then I went to college, one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, six years, I got a... Uh, basically a, a degree, all right, Bachelor of Arts in International Relations, Interstate Diplomacy from University of Minnesota, but I am Greg Nelson, PhD, physically hard and determined, all right, that is it, I got my PhD in life, and I think all of us should strive for that PhD in life to be physically hard, to be mentally hard, and to be determined to push on through whatever, all right? So yeah, get your PhD, all right? So number six, set, your, set routines and stick to them. That takes discipline. And when you become more disciplined, you become mentally tougher, you become more resilient, you figure out how to work around stuff because things are going to get in the way of your routines and you got to be able to swim around and figure it out and get back on course and get back to the routine again. But a lot of people set a routine and then they get a little off course and then they forget about it and that's it, it's over. All right? So you got to be disciplined. You got to fight for it. So set some routines and stick to them. All right? Number seven, continue to be creative with your life and living and having fun and training. Be creative. Get things going. Make things up. Try new things. Have some fun. Be creative. That keeps the spark going, all right? You got to have that spark. Be creative. It's a lot funner to be creative than just to be somebody who follows and just does what other people do. Start to be your own teacher sometimes and be creative and have some fun with it, all right? Lastly, number eight, continue to work hard to build your talents. That is key. You have some talents that other people don't. Build them. Make them strong. Become a master at those things. Remember, hard work beats talent when talent refuses to work hard. And I've seen that so much in my life. So, hey, be that person that has talent and who's willing to work for them. All right. This is Greg Nelson, PhD, with another daily message on just being resilient and physically and mentally tough. Get after it.